Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you my new Python generator called uh, Volume Colorizer. Um, I built this because a good friend of mine tried to colorize clouds inside of cinema and we couldn't find a good solution for that. So I thought it's maybe possible to build one with Python. And yeah, now I like to show you how it works. And of course, as always, you can download the tool in this description. Okay, let's start with some explanations. Um, there is actually already a vector volume. So let's build a volume first, like a sphere, put this under a volume builder. And now you see here uh, the volume type, you can select vector. And uh, here you see the vectors are colored. So I tried to find a solution to colorize those vectors. When you make a um, material, a uh, volume material, add this to the volume builder, then go inside the shader, go to the uh, volume shader, feed in the volume builder, and here in the color channel, also the volume builder. That's important, so it reads those vectors as uh, colors. Then let's make a sky rig, press render and here you can see you have a colored volume so i thought it would be good to colorize your volumes with um, fields that would be great but uh, we couldn't find a native solution inside cinema so that's the reason why i built uh, the python generator so and next step i will show you how it works Okay, here you see the volume colorizer with its settings. And of course, as always, if you like, you can go to object and uh, have a look at the code if you're interested in. Yeah, but now let's focus here on the settings. Um, you see here two input types, a volume object and a VDB file. So you can import directly VDB file. So, okay, let's generate a volume object first. Let's go to the asset browser, use the generic head, subdivide it, then put it under a volume builder, make the voxel size smaller, maybe 0.2 then switch the volume type to fog volume because we want kind of a cloud and to make it more interesting um, we use a shader field under the shader field use a noise maybe fpm bit bigger 200 then put it also under the volume builder Go to the volume builder, then uh, set it to minimum and use here creation space object below. And uh, then we use a uh, fork curve to make it more visible. Yeah. So have something like this. Maybe go back to the shader field, search uh, better seat. Something like this, maybe back to the curve, make it a bit sharper. So yeah. so yeah, this looks nice. To input the volume inside of the colorizer, you can't feed in the volume build directly. You have to first to convert it to a volume. So right mouse click and current state to object. Yeah, deactivate the volume builder. And here you see it generates a um, volume object here, volume object. Go to the volume colorizer, feed in the volume object, then hide it. So yeah, you see here first it shows nothing. That's because we don't have some colors. So um, here under the color fields, you can input uh, fields. So when you input a solid, activate color. 
and you see now we colored it just white and when you go down select the color for it you see it colored um, the volume with the solid field and because it's not super interesting uh, you can use of course others uh, other fields and uh, here for this example i like to input the head directly so input the head so we don't need the solid anymore then the head we use surface go to color ramp and use gradient and i think now it's too big so go back to layer uh, maybe use like five and now we need some colors um the gradient maybe load in rainbow colors and you can see it starts to colorize it so let's build a shader again go to material volume add the volume to the volume colorizer and then under the volume here it asks for the uh, density channel and for the color channel um, you see when you uh, go to the volume colorizer here it's written the channel names for the volume shader is just volume so go back and we write in here volume and also under the color channel okay then we need a sky rig again and start rendering and you see we have a, a colored volume at the moment it's a very low resolution that's um, because here under the settings you see the second part here is the you have here a maximum preview voxels um, that's because uh, if this is too high it takes too long to generate so keep this low to have to have a preview maybe I'm, I can up this year to 50,000 wait a bit and uh, it starts to, uh, to uh, increase the resolution and here are the voxel infos so you see here at the moment the preview we have a voxel size of 0.77 and the original is 0.2 that's uh, the number that we put in here in the volume builder 0.2 so if you like to have then the original volume you can export it so you have your export setting so use take the 0.2 put this in here and now we can export this as a VDB and import it again so this takes uh, a while so because when you have big volumes maybe it can take to a minute so when you click here on export it pops up um, the save window and now let's name this colored head save press enter and uh, now it uh, you have to wait a bit okay it's done and um, here a uh, window pops up you see it took um, 34 seconds okay and you see the colorizer switches straight to the final volume but uh, now you can also deactivate it and use an volume import object search for here it's called the volume loader open it then go back to our volume files here colored head and now we have here a final vdb volume with the colors at the shader again and you can see we have now a colored head a colored volume actually okay and the next part uh, i like to show how it works with a vdb file
Okay, you can see here, I uh, built a cloud in Houdini, exported it as VDB and I uh, use here a volume loader to load it in. Um, you can see here is the, the name of the volume, it's called density. So let's make a volume, go inside the volume shader, call the channel density add it to the volume loader. I already imported a uh, Skyrig. So you can see here is the cloud, but it's just white. So now we like to colorize it. Now let's go to the volume colorizer, deactivate the volume loader. Then here under VDB file, open the VDB file, Houdini cloud. And you see here the boundary box is already here, but now we need colors. So we use a linear field for this example. Go to the top view, make the linear field much smaller to here. Then inside the linear field, go to color remap use a gradient and then load some colors, maybe this one. And you see it don't updates sometimes. So yeah, you can switch a setting and it updates or go as always a frame forward and a frame back. Okay, now we have the colors. So we like to render it. So you see at the moment there's nothing. So let's build a another um, volume material for this, add it to the colorizer, go to the volume, um, feed in the channel uh, as in the tutorial before, right here, volume. See we have the volume already and you can use the color channel, but for this example we use the color channel for the absorption color. So go here to uh, absorption color channel, also write in volume. And you can see we have now a colored cloud. Of course, now it looks a bit blocky. That's because of the resolution. So, but here the same step. You see we have here the voxel infos. The current voxel scale in the preview is 0.49 and the original scale from Houdini is 0.14. So copy this value, put this under the voxel scale export, then click export, call it loud, loud colorize. And now let's wait. Okay, it's done. It took 32 seconds. Here we have the final volume. Um, let's hide it. Then use another volume loader. We duplicate it and we load in the cloud colorizer. Activate it and activate the original so we can compare it. Play here we have the wrong shader. Use the second one. Yeah, and you can see now we have the same cloud but uh, with some stripe colors. Yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching. As always, if you have questions or you find a bug, let me know in the comments. And yeah. You can download the files in the description. Bye-bye.